Can you keep a promise? My name is Twist, and this is Two Minute Twist. You got it. I made a promise in my last video. Do you remember? I said I would tell you what's in the box. Well, here we go. What's in the box? Oh, look. It's a dinosaur. And it's made of Lego. There have been a few guesses, but Hugo, you got it right. It is a dinosaur. Well done, Hugo. And your prize is this dinosaur. It will be on its way to you very soon. I guess that you even know what kind of dinosaur it is. If anybody wants to tell me what kind of dinosaur it is, ask your grown-up to send an email to me, info at twistonline.co.uk. Hey, I wonder what a baby dinosaur is called. Do you know, Gladstone? They are called hatchlings. Wow! When did you become an expert on dinosaurs? That is because dinosaurs rock. Brilliant! Good one, Gladstone. And a baby T-Rex is called a... Ooh, I think I know this. No, I don't. What is it called? It is also called a hatchling. Oh, yeah. Of course. Did you know, in the Bible, God promised Abraham and Sarah that they would have a baby? And Abraham was nearly a hundred years old. Whoa! A hundred years old! That all sounds unbelievable. But God kept his promise. And they did have a baby. Then Abraham also became the father of a whole nation, the people of Israel. I've got two big questions for you to talk about today. Here they are. Does God always keep his promises? What do you think? And this one. Has God made any promises to you? Two questions to talk about. Who will you talk with? Have fun talking. And I'll see you next time here on Two Minute Twist. Bye. You got it. Ooh, I think I know this. No, I don't.